So I want to talk a little bit about my brother. Um, just on a general level, how that my Jupiter trines his moon, Pisces, Cancer. Really important connection. And that's just the presence that I am in his life. Who I am, um, I have spiritual refreshments. Um, I'm there for some issues, believe it or not, I've been there. So this is um, where, okay, so some things come up with him. And and then, um, well, I don't know how to be there, but we, we are talking and, uh, you know, over the phone to the point, up to a point where he, he does a self-harm act and then there's a lot of disconnection there. Okay, so um, I, I am just kind of left with my own, faculties like okay so what's going on and, and of course I'm, I'm I'm looking at the relationship that he was in and because why would he do the self-harm thing or whatever was going on and what he was saying and then see the point is, is I have no idea now I just really don't know I mean I could say that but I'm you know I'm going through my own problems too so I, I let go of it I had to let go of it Whew! that's really when I started experiencing some kind of attack of something. I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> this is trippy. So, but to this day, okay, so I'm thinking of who I really am as somebody who I've been there for every um, bit, one of my loved ones, my f personal family, who they come down with some tragic thing, like my, my dad. I mean, I was just there by his side when he died, at least. Not that that's a great thing, but really had to happen. I mean, I, I, I don't mind that. I mean, I... Anyway, um, I was there for my mom, you know, for sure there. I was always present. I've been present. My point is that I'm present with people who are in that um, stage of like, they might die. If they might die, it's, it's, it's just as, um, I consider it as a spiritual person. It's just as, um, like, you're just as privileged to be around somebody that's, that, no, requests your presence or that you're able to like somehow you just were I was there um, not all scenarios are the same but see like with my mom's um, death um, any death babes to be present to be there at the funeral to to acknowledge the passing of somebody to, to acknowledge their fullness of their life right there really that's important right you know because when, when, when we're born we're celebrating what Really, it's like, it's a big question, but then this is what the, some places do in Honduras down there in the jungle. They're celebrating when people die because why? <sighs> Their life and everything that they were was is surrounding them now and the rose petals are going and it's just this, you would think it's a birthday happening. And guess what happens when, when a child is born? There's a lot of crying going on and there's a lot of like, uns there's just... People are biting their nails, and it's like, ugh, the fate of the child, do we have enough money? You know, all of that, of course. And we don't even know if the child's going to live. Will it? I mean, whoo, the whole having to let go and say, let God take care of this, you know? Really. Oh, my point of this video. Oh, um, well, you hear me, you know, I mean, I would love to be able to be in my brother's life. If it wounds up, see, see, look at I'm, I'm programmed that the relationship, in fact, and, and and is toxic enough that he has fallen under for some reason. He's over there recovering from having tried to take his own life, and then, but no, uh, what is going on? I was just completely ejected out. I mean, I'm still like. Okay, so let me reset my mind. If that's not really happening and he has a terminal illness, can I see my brother? Can I can I be next to him and say, dude, not so bad, is it? We've fucking been through this before and guess what? We don't die. We don't die. Don't you think you'd want to be around somebody like me? Yes. The truth is I'm not this obnoxious. I'm not this obnoxious. Um, I'm talking about my... um. Just somebody that I had this, I have this connection with, the Jupiter Moon. We are good friends. The Jupiter Moon uh, trine or conjunction, especially the conjunction, but the trine is easy. The square, no. 
the Jupiter square moon. No, you can't trust that moon in that moon. It says, you're going to use me up, man. You're, you know, but if it's a trine, like if it's, it's a beautiful trine that we have. And, and I know that. I know that he finds comfort in, in the um, craziness that I am, that I can provide the Piscean oceanic expression of, hey, we're all being carried here. Is it amazing? No, it's not solid. Of course not. And, and it's like, uh, <laughs> I'm very entertaining. Uh, especially if you've gone completely retarded. I'm good with Down syndrome patients, and um, I just switch right over. It's like, oh, let's sit with this, man. I mean, guess what? Everybody else thinks they're perfectly fine. <laughs> they don't have a, um, an awareness of a challenge like that. It's not really uh, whipped out. They're all beating each other on the head. And, and these people, you know, with a little um, handicap, really appreciate other people. And that's like, I like being around that. And, um, that's one part of me is like I'm considering of uh, considering just just breaking down and getting the stupid money making job doing nursing. I went through enough with um starting with um well, I moved in with a woman that I didn't know that she would drop dead, but it was in the middle of the time where I was going through changes and I had to go to my with my mom where I had to get her out of the hospital because she wanted out of there and it wasn't time yet. So I was listening and so being near all of that, we had to get her hooked up with, I mean, she's a terminal ill patient going through the stages, late stages of uh, multiple sclerosis where, man, she's just a marathon runner is what she is. She has Saturn conjunct Mars and she did it in such a way as like, yeah, no, no, stick the tube in there. I'm going to eat for fucking six years with that and then I, I'm going to be bedridden for, and nobody could do that long, but that person who has that stamina with the Saturn conjunct Mars, that's like, that's a um, soldier out in the war field just taking it, taking it, taking it, taking it, fuck. Woo! Anyway, there with that, with her, just uh, compassion, 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 changing her diapers towards the end. The, the thing with her, she had real love in her life. She had a lover, a love, right till, you know, up to the very end. It was in 2010, uh, February 2nd, he croaks. February 22nd, she croaks. Beautiful love story right there. They just ha, 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 couldn't even make any of this up. And But my point is, why, I be, why, why am I being shut out of that situation where, um, okay, so what kind of spiritual help is he getting? I mean, is there any comedy relief at all? I mean, um, is anybody there like that knows how to cook him? I know that we just like our hash browns and eggs and he likes a lot of ketchup, you know? It just makes you feel comfortable that somebody that's there that, that remembers, really. And, and I know that he was wondering, where are you, where are you? And it's like, well, where is everybody then? I mean, we are, do you feel the boat sloshing around? And it really has to do with like, okay, so what's the quality relationships we are conducting with each other? Is it like, where is everybody? Well, fucking me. Me, I, I mean, okay, so blame it on me that I live in the mountains way, way over here. hundred miles away. Got to go, go up the windy road. Ah, I make it as much as I can. I try to be present to each other anyway. The gist of this um, video is like I'm being gypped of of the experience of, of, of um, being able to be there for people that might need my presence. Maybe, right? Um, well, yeah, he, you know, he was really trying to call me. Uh, before all of this, and and it wasn't up to me to to go down there and, and kick his ass into the car and come up here and visit me and sit with me, because obviously he's in some kind of situation. It's like, Zen, can you come up here? You know, I mean, I'm here, and I, you, you know, it, it was, it's at that point where it's like, well, what, what are you going to do? You have to make these changes, and I know that we, it just, um, you don't really control it, but God will take care of you. Isn't that a strange thing to say? Uh, and so I, I don't, you know, I'm thinking, well, I hope that, um, if I see him next, he's coherent enough to tell me this story that says, yeah, no, I, I went through it and, and I'm still dealing with my emotions about it, the guilt or whatever is going on. See, I am, he doesn't, I don't really know, but the presence is what, what, what will do it for you. I'm open to listening to all of it and and come from my my tragedy also my experience would say and, and we, so we're still here we're still here and and guess what we have now 
which is so crisp, crisp and clean and beautiful. Don't don't forget to breathe. And, and do you have enough food today? Like they say in Japan, they don't say, hi, how are you? They say, have you eaten today? Have you eaten yet today? Isn't that the more um, sound thing to say? Forget the small talk. Are these people level-headed or not? I mean, do you even want to talk to them anyway? Thanks for listening. And I love, um, naturally, really, I want to, I'm supposed to be there for people. And um, me having fallen under and having to really um, assess whether um, I'm seeing what I'm seeing or not, which is like, well, where is everybody? And yeah, it's true. It's like, well, okay, I'll, I'll do it myself. And on top of um, the help that I was getting, which is, I'm extremely grateful. That is a work in progress. When we have relations with each other, um, you can't always just say, well, this person's a narcissist because they are unevolved. You, uh, now I'm speaking for women now because that's all I, like Sam Kinison says, I only speak from the aspect as, of a man because I'm a man. That's what I'm working with here. Well, I'm a woman from an aspect of a woman. That's what I'm working with here. And I think that we are to be present with, and if there's that non-human um, thing in front of your face, try to bring it up, try to make it aware, at least aware that it's there and, and then, and say, well, now what can we do like in the now? It doesn't have to keep looping back into the same tragic experience or memory, just like now, what could we do differently, you know, with each other? And, uh, there's where I know um, that um, it's not anybody's responsibility, but ourselves. That's like our only teacher right there is like, well, how's now? But how's now? You know what I mean? And, and how do you make these moments um, as they start to unfold and the mind is compounding all of it, with all of its prejudice, prejudice, prejudice and memory and uh, thought of a thought. And it's like, can you please? See, I like to dispel all of that. I am a musician. To close this up, there are practitioners of the physical body who they specialize in healing the physical body. They are called physicians. Then there are practitioners who they specialize. Now, I don't want to say healing the mind because there isn't any such a thing as saying that this thing is, is appropriate enough to manage our lives, believe it or not. Um, so there are practitioners who help you manage your mind into a place where it's not, you're not catering to it or it's not so um, be causing behavioral patterns that are completely unhealthy in the end. Those practitioners of the mind are called musicians. Muse means immersed in thought, which isn't good. You should be know that you are immersed in reality. Reality holds you. Mind has to obey. And then there's a lot of responsibility to that. What are you going to hold on to if it's the mind? What do we use the mind for? Well, it holds on to a lot of shit. What are you going to do with it? Hold on to bad memory or good memory? Guess what a musician is doing is just saying, um, dispel, 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 dispel. Muse I shun, muse I shun. I shun that which causes all of this smoke and mirrors. No mind likes that story. All minds right now, they are like feeling like that they, 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 anxiety, breathe. You're not real. You're not real. 